actually. What is a tricky match in these days? Uh, was it a tricky match yesterday in Adrichville uh, with two opponents out of different uh, league levels? Um, is it more tricky than to play uh, Stellenbosch uh, on Saturday for us? I don't think so. It's, they have all their own dynamic. Uh, for what reason uh, uh, ever um, you all of a sudden stay behind, uh, not qualified for the next round? Um, yeah. Uh, if uh, it would be easy to answer to uh, find proper solution, uh, you would uh, try to avoid it. But uh, anyway. Um, good, Stenbosch is uh, definitely a PSL team in the moment with a good record over the last uh, few weeks, uh, result and performance related. Um, yeah, on our side, uh, we have uh, probably two points uh, where I was thinking um, could have had more on the PSL league table. Basically, virtual, uh, we made these two points um, more. Unfortunately, the goal was not allowed, uh, we scored, nobody knows till now uh, why. Uh, anyway, telling about, or talking about this uh, um, tells you a bit of a story, but we definitely mm. have a certain priority at the Swallows FC, meaning the PSL status, uh, and in particular in this year, is very, very crucial for us. Um, doesn't mean we are not uh, taking it serious uh, on Saturday. Definitely, um, we are not uh, leaving anybody behind. Everybody who is available, and in the moment uh, we have quite a, uh, a situation. Only Bandizile, Tetlabika, and uh, Givmar Cooper, uh, who uh, both are not available for selection. But it's not new. They are not available for selection uh, since several weeks. Uh, or in my time, they were not available at all. Um, good. Um, the rest is uh, available for selection. Um, our issue is more uh, with the new players uh, coming in lately, uh, in terms of the registration scenario, what everybody of you guys know. We were uh, in uh, at as far as I've seen that we have a number of players: uh, Evans Fusiki, Pondani Sem, David Romi, uh, Tavanda Macheke, uh, just to mention some um, who haven't been involved in uh, competitive matches in the past, uh, let's say six, seven, probably even longer months. Um, so, and that's a little bit uh, a tricky situation for us. Uh, what can we expect? Are they 45 minutes uh, players in the moment? Uh, do we um, push them a little bit more in training? Uh, there is no uh, really final answer. Um, we will definitely handle it in a different, unusual way. Uh, the change of four players in halftime, what we have seen last Friday, uh, will be not an unusual one. Uh, I try to respect it, but in the moment I cannot um, expect 60 minutes, 90 minutes from certain players, for example Bogdani Sem with his history and uh, his last club, uh, so then we have to deal with it as a valuable player, but in the moment he can give us probably maximum 45 minutes and uh, that is a bit of situation where we try to handle it adequately uh, going forward. Um, it's just uh, the game, uh, it's good in the moment, uh, Saturday, Saturday, uh, or Friday, Saturday, that we have one game a week. It's a good uh, possibility for us uh, to periodize it uh, adequately and yeah, let's see what we can do in this uh, tricky game on Saturday in Cape Town. Thank you, Coach. Uh, let's take the first question, Zeppo. Thanks. Coach, uh, Zeppo from ENC. So this game, obviously when we got into Swallows, we, we were seeing changes, positive changes at Swallows. And you mentioned that the, the priorities is, is in the league for obvious reasons. But uh, how do you approach this netbank cup, especially for, for the players' mindset that you are playing a different competition? Do you think maybe mentally it's more of a relaxed approach, not to stress about uh, the league situation? Thanks. No, we were, actually, uh, I don't make any uh, specific uh, uh, different approach uh, for a cup game or for um, a league game. Uh, definitely not at that time. Uh, it starts to get critical for us with our resources, with our um, numbers of players. Uh, um, 
so far available. Um, if it comes to a situation where you play Saturday and then you play Tuesday the league, uh, the, the cup game, and then you play Friday another game, then in our situation we would uh, really start thinking about uh, where is our priority, what is uh, um, requested now uh, in terms of the yellow cards, in terms of um, the injury, in terms of uh, whatever uh, is a handicap uh, inside the squad. Um, but at the time, as I said, it's, uh, we had our last game Friday. We're very happy to have a very uh, competitive match on, on Saturday, and that is how we handle it uh, currently. Okay, coach, moving right along, do we have any other questions in the room? Okay, Chad Clay, Chad Kelly Clay, and then uh, Tembo Shamala. Thanks, Martin. Coach, uh, it'll be Stella Marsh's first game out as well since the news of uh, Young Marsh on Andres. There will also be that moment of silence before the game, which I'm sure will, will bring up emotions out of them. Does that add a different dynamic uh, to, to this game, and how do, you, how do you see that playing a part in, in their performance? It is a difficult situation, uh, of course, for the team uh, Stellenbosch. Um, I could start uh, describing the moment or the scenario around because uh, I had it a number of times in Maritzburg United being in charge, uh, Sela and uh, another player um, and then four or five days later uh, passed away and then four or five days later you have to, to play, to, to compete with uh, the squad, with the team. Uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, really emotional, uh, something uh, where you have a certain uh, scenario, handicap or whatever. Uh, it's difficult for uh, me or for us uh, to describe it. We uh, were looking for help, we outsourced the support uh, at the time in Marlsburg United and uh, probably uh, in Stellenbosch the really too. Um, it's a bunch of players very close to this uh, uh, passed away one, but um, good. It's, it's really difficult uh, uh, to look into our uh, game on Saturday with a perspective uh, to expect a scenario and to describe a scenario. Although, uh, I don't want really to talk too much about it. It's difficult. It's definitely something uh, on the Stellenbosch side. Uh, um, it's not an easy task, that's for sure. Tell me. Coach, I'm, I'm looking at the support that you have been getting from from the Swallows traditional supporters. But now, yesterday with the Dondol match, Supersport losing, has it made you somewhat change the way you look at the smaller uh, division teams? I mean, of course, you're playing against a PSL team. But what happened yesterday? What does it say to you as Coach Ernst with this edition of the Netbank Cup? I'm always, uh, I think I, I find it uh, very interesting to, to see um, pilots lost in former years. I don't know, was it Meluti or, or if I don't forget the, the yeah, name, college team, uh, for one or something like this. Uh, Dondo lost now. It will always happen. You lose uh, what is more dramatic um, to lose against Meluti, against Dondol in the first round or is it more dramatic uh, if you go all the way with the team to the final and then you lose against the lower division side. Uh, I don't know what's, what's more painful, what's more uh, discussable, what's more uh, uh, delicate or whatever, I have no idea. But it, this time it happens all the time. Uh, I remember um, was described as a disaster, it's uh, ICU, uh, it's whatever in terms of uh, guys. Uh, football uh, is, is a worldwide uh, uh, respectful game and you play 11 against 11. If uh, you play football with your body, with your mindset, and if the mindset, the brain of uh, some of uh, guys in certain teams are not working, it doesn't matter uh, which team or which players we are talking about, you can do whatever you want as a, as a coach. You, you can you can uh, uh, swap around. You can uh, be the crazy man on the side. Uh, if it is gone and you feel it, and I'm quite sure that uh, Kevin Hunt will tell you at a certain moment, uh, 
you saw it, do something will happen here today. You feel it. You know what's. You know the players how far they are. And I think a number of uh, guys pro probably were not really in this game to 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 uh, push forward and to make it happen. That's the reality. It happens. It's, it's something. Um, what we definitely have not a scenario like this uh, for the game on Saturday. It's a very respected Stellenbosch team uh, with a good run, as I said before, in terms of results, in terms of performance, as we have all seen. And uh, yeah, we have to be our best. Uh, uh, of course, we have to be even. Uh, that's our our delicate situation in the moment. Defensively, we are okay. Defensively, we got it. Uh, know what we have to do in a certain setup, uh, but in our forward movement uh, we, we definitely have to improve. Um, we work on, on, on certain moments, uh, on the five moments inside the game, transition-wise or set plays, despite uh, till now um, a number of soccer experts uh, don't respect uh, the fifth moment, the set plays, but the set plays are very, very crucial. I'm talking about since 10 years, uh, but it's still not... Uh, um, have not arrived in our uh, environment here in South Africa. But all over the world, uh, the set plays, we have seen it at the World Cup, uh, are very, very crucial moments. And in particular, if you play uh, probably teams um, on the lower division, uh, put, uh, put a little bit more effort into this direction. Okay, maybe the last round of questions, if there are any. Oh, okay, you can go ahead. Coach, I'm, I'm just taking on the last part of your, of your, of your statement. Set plays. We saw you scoring and securing a win against um, uh, uh, Richards Bay with a set, set play. Um, is that the direction that we're seeing you implementing at Swallows, that even if things don't go the way you want, you always bank on the set play? And the pain of losing that match, Coach, on the lighter note, has the coach healed from losing cup finals, missing out on the league, and officials coming through and doing their own thing. Where's your headspace on that coach? No, also I must correct you. Um, we scored two goals from set place <laughs> in the PSL. Uh, one goal, on, as you've seen, against uh, Richards Bay, and the second goal from set place, we scored against TS Galaxy. It's a goal for me. What the rules and regulation and where you find a little bit of. Uh, that's not my job, that's not my work. Uh, uh, when uh, Sibonino showed this uh, next uh, day or immediately after the game, uh, we have proof, we have evidence, and uh, I don't know even what the so called Monday evening uh, referees are talking about. Uh, you can't, you can't, uh, and it doesn't help us that uh, obviously this. Uh, institution is uh, taking the linesman out for a number of weeks. Uh, doesn't help us. Uh, set plays always have been always in my entire 30 years and in my entire 402 PSL games uh, have always been something where uh, I put a lot of effort in. And uh, it doesn't matter if uh, big uh, authorities and experts uh, ah, you score only by set plays. I heard it over 12 months, uh, but anyway, um, it's it's very crucial. It's very crucial in this direction, and um, yeah, we put the uh, effort in uh, very uh, much uh, during training session, um, and it's it's good to see that that something is coming out. But on the other side, I'm only 54 days uh, in in uh, in the work with the team, with uh, as well as FC, um, so and that is not uh, too much. We go to the political side if uh, a certain party enters uh, the government or coming to the political uh, uh, situation uh, got selected. Uh, I think it's, it's 100 days, no? Mm -hmm. 100 yeah. days, yeah. We talk about 100 days and 100 days, then you should look into it, something happened. Uh, in soccer, is different. In soccer, is definitely different. Uh, in soccer, they ask you after 40 days, uh, <laughs> when do we see results? <laughs> when do we uh, see something? Uh, what's going on? Uh, so long already. Uh, I'm quoting a, a journalist some, some days ago. Um, it's, it's madness. It's uh, unbelievable. It's uh, something... Uh, um, yeah. Healing is not a, a process where we are in. Uh, as coaches, let me be very clear, as coaches, 
uh, we are never in a building process. As coaches, we are never in a rebuilding process. As coaches, we are never in a healing process. Because simple easy, in four or five days, there's an escape. Now you want to talk about healing, you want to talk about building, you want to talk about rebuilding. Guys, the next, we are not in an economy, we are not uh, 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 being the CEO of a, of a company where every, uh, on, a, on a 28th of February, you have to provide some numbers. That's not our job. Our job is in this moment, game. And it's nice. It's, I always talk uh, development, I have a different understanding, the same like on a professional level. Uh, you perform, you progress to win. It's not a, it doesn't matter, no, in, in, in development, no, it's not about winning. Of course it's about winning. Perform, progress, to win. Uh, combine this. And uh, that's, that's very crucial. Uh, we have to, to accept this and therefore um, I didn't need uh, too much, uh, as you have seen, uh, whatever, if you lose a game, you need an hour or two, don't use more, uh, because then you waste your energy and your time in terms of preparation for the next game. Right, we're going to move on to Ben Dulo. If you can just get him a microphone. <coughs> Congratulations, by the way, coach, on the milestone. Over 400 matches. Uh, 402, and uh, uh, I don't think in the next 50 years of the PSL history there will be no foreign coach uh, to catch him. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, big milestone, coach. Coach, um, I'm going to just talk again from Sun, coach. Um, coach, I'm just going to follow up. Um, I think the mic is off. Just switch it on there. Yeah. Is it button? My, my ears are blocking. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Coach, um, you've just mentioned that um, you, you have 54 days to Soros FC, and you've mentioned that how set plays are so important in part of the game plan. We've seen it working for you at KZ Chief strikers like Nikovic and Castro, but now it swallows with the team squad you have and the, uh, the players you have in your squad. Do you think you are there or you are needed there in um, getting that game plan of using set plays as, as, as part of your winning strategy or you still need to get some additions uh, on your team? It's just a matter of budget from the club to get you those players. Thank you. We have to look into like a piece of paper. Paper has a front page and a back page. Um, the front page is to look into it to say, okay, do we have this type of players who can hit the ball with a header into the net? We have Sipo, Yagan, Vasim, Malinga, uh, Evans, Machik is coming in. Also we have a number of players where we really can put the power into the uh, set plates, attacking the ball and uh, being successful. There's no doubt about it. The back page of a paper is, and that was very often, uh, kept, and that was more important for me uh, to see, is there anybody in the squad who can hit the ball uh, to where this young gentleman, or oh, Simonello is standing there, to hit the ball into this direction into this really pinpoint the ball to this. Is there anybody who really can assist and deliver the ball into the proper uh, situation? We have Gregory Damons, uh, Lingo as we have seen, Mshali needs to get a little bit, kick his uh, butt uh, a little bit more uh, over things, but a very qualified player, there's no doubt about it, but uh, playful, childish, in certain moments he can do better. Um, but we have these players. We have the players can assist, and we have the players uh, in this moment who can hit the ball in. Um, even I'm going so far. We, we are working very close, and I don't leave my hands off the of the disc team. Uh, very very crucial uh, to play more than less, uh, going into the right uh, direction directly. The same. We mix them up. Uh, these are. Uh, players and the way how they work uh, uh, should be really combining uh, with what we are doing uh, because mixing up and I can't allow to get players from the disc team coming to us and they don't know the, the procedure, the setup of the training sessions. Uh, so, and if you look into it, um, no, see, you know, there was nobody no, from this uh, gentleman on uh, Sunday morning at 10 o'clock in uh, Dobsonville to see. Um, this team from Swallows FC against uh, FC Ga TS Galaxy. No. But we scored three goals on the Disco team side and three goals per 
set plate. Galaxy plate and plate and plate. <laughs> They're still playing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the set place uh, was a secret to win it 3-0. Uh, if you see the game, you think about, hmm, how does this come? But tells you the story in the end of the day. The effectiveness uh, uh, we have seen, and, and of course, we, we, we work on it uh, day in, day out. Okay, uh, do we have any further questions? Let's go to Chad there. Yes, so the you last one. You are, you are handicapped, you are sick. <laughs> you are very active. I have to be, Coach. Mm. Uh, I can't help but respond to, to the milestone, Coach. Uh, 402 games, mm. most of them with Manusburg United. <laughs> oh, I would like to see you back there in the future as well. <laughs> um, but how do you summarize your, your 402 games in, in South African football so far? Incredible. Incredible. Because I can see sometimes when uh, you honor players, uh, 280, wow, wow, 200 games. And to be saying, Jesus, my goodness, that's, that's something. <laughs> Then I'm thinking, hmm, he gets already this. Uh, mentioned this 280 uh, games and he's already a big shot on us. Uh, wow. And I hear coaches, I don't know, uh, big uh, Cabo Sando and whatever, uh, 200 and something. <laughs> and they are still only by 50%. I don't know when they will catch me in, in this direction. <laughs> I think it's a huge compliment. Uh, and please uh, respect the decision of um, the chairmen, the owners, um, They don't bring somebody in who doesn't know what he's doing. And definitely not uh, uh, that somebody brings you four times or three times back. Uh, uh, why should he do this? And you think, uh, hey, this guy is so out of uh, knowledge, uh, he doesn't know what. 402, and it will be probably a number more, um, personally, is, is an incredible um, milestone. You cannot discuss it away. You, nobody, there are no arguments. And if you start to argue or to uh, give reasons about it, probably you end up that I pay the club to uh, sign me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the case. Uh, I'm putting some uh, money into the retirement fund. Uh, Brian is coming tomorrow. That means uh, I'm earning some money. And let me wait and see. But anyway, it's, uh, it's a pleasure for me to, to, to see this. Uh, and good. It's fine. It's okay. Okay, we'll sneak in just one more from Vedi. <laughs> yeah. Sorry that I'm not uh, talking the same like each and everybody. Let's. Uh, sorry, a little bit of uh, the handicap. A little bit. But anyway. Four hundred. Yeah. Four hundred is talking. Yeah. It's <laughs> actually more matches because you've coached in other leagues as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I've got a, the other one, uh, I must be over a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, coach, um, I was talking to Dumsani Zuma um, recently. Mm. Um, he says you are more than a father to him um, based on what you've done for him um, from getting into the top flight. And, and one area we were also talking about was um, um, listening to coaches, listening to players, and also maybe to club officials. It differs to how you are seen maybe on the media space and just um, you, you've got this oppressive uh, nature uh, or look about you, <laughs> but the respect that one looks <laughs> at from your peers and those that you've worked with, uh, how, do you, how do you look at this? Uh, I, I mentioned it already, uh, I, of course I, uh, I'm stubborn, there's no doubt about it. Uh, mm -hmm. At a certain moment I'm uh, uh, showing signs of madness, uh, no doubt about it. Um, uh, but one stuff I can assure, uh, I never go into a training session without preparation. I never go into taking over a team. Uh, doing the assessment immediately and, and knowing immediately what can I expect. Uh, I respect the reality, I respect the facts, and uh, I cannot, if I cannot play tiki taki, uh, Barcelona style uh, with a team because the players are not around and I don't do this. 
uh, if I see there is a certain element of uh, quality, but in a different way, uh, whatever is, and uh, I hear so much about uh, game model, uh, I don't know, principles, elements, uh, we follow it up, uh, one day it will come, uh, I hear so much about it, and I would really like to, to uh, and that is what I'm, I'm talking about, I'm... Um, Knowledge is a certain power, but knowledge gives you a certain confidence. Uh, and I'm not going into a direction uh, to talk about competence. Competence is um, the expertise you are bringing and the experience you are bringing. Uh, so that, that means um, this is something um, and that's the quality of assessment. Uh, it's not the number only of 402 games. Uh, the quality of assessment, um, and I haven't been always uh, the closest friend of Dumisani Suma. Uh, I respect him with all his skills. I respect him with all his quality. Uh, uh, coming uh, to Bloemfontein uh, at that time, uh, out of uh, KwaZulu Natal, where he was already with a number of uh, coaches uh, going for trials and nobody saw something. Um, I saw one training session, I went straight to Ike and they signed this guy uh, and immediately uh, inside the preseason uh, and he played more than less immediately one of the first games uh, showing that the talent. But if guys like this, uh, players, they are the ones. It's not, uh, uh, they are the ones who, who are recognizing what are you doing, who are able to see what are you talking to uh, them about. And believe me, one stuff is very, very crucial. I'm not smoothing around uh, with players. Uh, if a player has deficit, if a player has to improve in certain direction, I don't wait too long. And I said, come on, buddy, we have to chat, we have to talk. This is what are you doing. You think you are bigger player here and so on, but let me tell you, this and that and uh, another part uh, needs improvement. Um, I can help you, we can help you on the team side, but uh, please don't be so stubborn and ignore it. So this is uh, something where uh, players in the end of the day, uh, if they are honest, whatever, stopping, uh, and um, uh, they are recognized that's good for them, that's good for the development, that's good for the progress. And uh, it's very, these are the type of uh, recognition, of assessment uh, to your work. If you get uh, uh, what you quoted just now is to Miss Anisuma and a number of other players worldwide, it doesn't matter, Iran, China, uh, where I'm still in contact with uh, people in um, Asia or Europe, um, this is, is very crucial for me to get this uh, feedback. And this is what means the most for me to get the feedback from uh, people you are working with. Either it is a club owner who shows to bring you back three times, to bring you back twice, or it is a player uh, in this direct form as he mentioned it.